coalition of civil rights group in fulfillment of its mandates of holding government accountable in governance assessed the President Muhammad Buhari's administration to highlight the commitment towards good governance in delivering the dividends of democracy to its people. The assessment entailed the scrutiny of policy formations and implementation across the country's various MDAs, emphasizing accountability, transparency, and probity. It also touched on the various programs implemented by the President Muhammad Buhari's administration regarding governance, the rule of law, and human rights. The various social intervention programs of the President Muhammad Buhari's administration were also scrutinized in an objectivity manner, devoid of sentiments to put issues in proper perspective. The issues. There have been insinuations that Nigerians' rule of law is selective. The rich and powerful do not play by the rules, which has swelled corruption in the polity. There has indeed questioned the sincerity of the President Muhammad Buhari's administration in the fight against corruption. There were also in situations that the operations of MDAs in Nigeria have been fraught with lack of accountability and transparency, which has aided massive corruption and disregard for extant procurement laws in the conduct of government business in Nigeria. The implementation of the rule of law was also questioned through allegations that the government has displayed total disregard for the rule of law through questionable actions that undermine individuals' right to express themselves on matter of national concern. There were also allusions of implementing a selective justice system targeted at perceived political opponents while shielding individuals and organizations with ties to the present administration of President Mohamed Buhari and the APC from being held accountable for questionable transactions and activities that fuel act of corruption and undermine sustainable growth and development in Nigeria. This also on the heels that Transparency International in its yearly report stated that Nigeria had dropped two places down to the rank of the world's 34th most corrupt nation. While this position has been canvassed, the factors responsible were not adequately highlighted. Findings. <clears throat> the assessment report's findings indeed brought up questions on how the President Mohamed Buhari administration has fared in the fight against corruption. Our findings revealed act of political colorations that possibly influence the perception that the President Mohamed Buhari's administration is selective in the fight against corruption. Analysis, an analysis of the institutional framework in place negates the claim. This is on the heels that the framework is not subject to manipulations as the various mechanisms in place provide for checks and balances in the conduct of government business in Nigeria. It also discovered that the implementation of the Treasury Single Account, that is the TSA, has ensured that finances of MDAs are subject to the best possible accountability procedures, which has greatly reduced incidences of siphoning the government funds while entrenching a regime of accountability in the disbursement of government funds for purposes it is intended for. The personal and payroll information system, that is the IPPIS, was also identified as one of the measures implement implemented by President Mohamed Buhari administration in tackling corruption in the system by blocking loopholes that heritage cost the country billions of dollars. Our findings also reveal the prosecution of high profile politicians civil servants and retired military officers for corruption and secured convictions of a handful of cases. His administration has also recovered billions of stolen assets from corrupt Nigerians. Scores of corrupt polit 
politicians across party lines and government officials are currently undergoing trials for various forms of financial impropriety, thereby rating the President Muhammad Buhari's campaign against corruption as the most intense the country has ever seen in its history. The realities. The coalition of civil society groups in the extensive analysis of the issues at stake states that what is being propagated in the public space is different from reality. The various indices indicate sustainable efforts towards building strong institutions capable of addressing corruptions and other forms of societal ills that retard development in our great country. As discovered in the analysis of issues, there are political undertones to rating Muhammadus Buhari, in rating Muhammadus Buhari's administration as low in the war against corruption. This is hinged on permutations towards causing distractions of his administration. The coalition of civil rights groups position the coalition of civil society group's position is that there has been an entrenchment of accountability and transparency in the conduct of government business. The loopholes for siphoning government resources have been blocked. This has also brought about accountability, which remains the hallmark of the President Mohamed Buhari's administration. It must also be stated that there hasn't been any tangible evidence that support the claim of selective implementation of the war against corruption from our analysis. The bulk of the insinuations are hinged on hearsay and illogical conclusions, which remain questionable to all known parameters. It is thus a statement of fact that there hasn't been an error in the annals of this great country, Nigeria, where the government had displayed an unalloyed commitment to the judicious putting of resources to the country than now. And those in leadership position have been taxed through various mechanisms to play by the rules of the game and governance. Our position remains that President Mohamed Buhari's administration has not been found to promote corruption, corrupt practices. No record indicates systematic protection of individual and organizations that run afoul of the law. Our recommendations. The coalition of civil rights groups, as a result of the foregoing, hereby make the following recommendations. One, that the government must institute measures that will keep the citizens abreast of happening in the polity with regards to the introduction of policies and programs that affect ordinary citizens and their lives. Two, that the government must task MDAs to respond to the freedom of information request in a timely fashion that makes such known to the general public in the bid to douse tension and carry the citizens along all the time. Three, through its various MDAs, the government must provide accurate information on burning issues to allow the citizens to make their independent judgment of the government's effort in all sectors of the economy. Four, that the government must engage in town hall meetings with critical stakeholders to allow them to seek clarification on areas that require attention and collective input by the people. Five, that the government must address concerns in the public space in the most decorous manner without making allegations that smack a mockery of the whole governance process. In conclusion, the coalition of civil rights group conclude that the President Mohamed Buhari's administration since inception has been at the vanguard of promoting accountability and transparency in the conduct of governance business. This has consequently led to the enviable level of accountability and transparency across MDAs. Therefore, it remains an act of sabotage activities of individuals and organizations that rate the government low in accountability and transparency in governance in Nigeria. Thank you very much and God bless.